very good. Dr. Orish will need that at the next table. Suction, please. Let's clear the field. And then... All right. Okay, back it up. Dr. Figueira, hand off to Dr. Layton. I need you down here, please. He's awake. He's not awake. Look at his vitals. It's just a reflex. We got you, Jake. You hear me now? Stay with us. Okay, uh, Jesse, let's make sure he's yeah, down. Push down. another ten of the comet, please. He's not coming up over 80%. His chest is hardly rising. All right. Okay. Positive for pericardial fluid. Plenty of it. Doctor, wait. Stop. Put the bag down. Okay? You're decreasing his ICP by hyperventilating. Him. Six breaths a minute. That's all he it's needs. It's okay. Just over there. It's okay. Just go down. Oh, we need to get him upstairs. Jesse, knows by the OR. Okay. See that? The artery. The maxillary artery, to be precise. It branches out yes. from the external carotid. It's a real bitch, but in a couple of seconds... It's our bitch. Precisely. More dependent fluid in the lungs, left worse than right. He's gonna die on the elevator. Likely, yes. I need a thoracotomy tray. Are you gonna open up his chest? You got a better idea? I could use the assist. Dr. Svetti, get back here. You and Dr. Lawrence can close. Who can tell me what we're doing? Dr. Pineda, a thoracotomy, a clam cell, left and right chest open. That's right. Why? Dr. Layton? The only way to stop the internal bleeding is to go in now. Yeah, that's right. Guys, the thoracotomy is the mother of all ER procedures. Only 5% success rate in ERs nationwide. Don't need all the facts, Malaya. We are the statistical anomaly. Jesse, I need uh, six units of Oneg. Please do the level one. Already here. All right. Push it through both 18s, please. All right, scalpel. Okay, just all right, Jesse. Okay. We're going to spread the ribs now. Whoa. And, and push the lungs aside. Dr. Layton, take the other side, please. Tim Blade, please. Okay, now watch Dr. Hudson. He's about to reveal the pericardium, the sac around the heart. You've done a lot of these? No, first one. It's comforting. Dr. Hudson has done more than most. He did a surgical residency before he moved to ER. I'm opening the pericardium now. Uh, but wait, there it is, there it is. For those of you who can see, look, see that laceration right there above the proximal aorta. Cross clamp, please. Yeah, we're cross clamping it. He'll divert the blood above the opening to the brain, which needs perfusion the most right now. No cardiac activity. Dr. Layton, can you inject with intracardiac epinephrine, please? Got it. Good. Dr. Pineda, get your hands in here. Really? Yeah, get your hands in. Put them around the heart really gently. And you're going to massage it. Oh my God, I feel it. It's beating now. It's beating without me. Okay, you got the rhythm there. 